Hello everyone. Oscillations 3 Simple Harmonic Motion Continued. In this video, I will be discussing examples of simple harmonic motion which includes the spring and simple pendulum, damped simple harmonic motion and forced simple harmonic motion. So first we shall see this case of the spring. In this figure, we can see a spring of spring constant k which is attached to a mass of m at one end and to the wall at the other end. The mean position or the equilibrium position of the spring is at x is equal to 0 and the spring oscillates between the points plus a and minus a where a is the amplitude of oscillation. Now, at any time t, if the displacement of the block from its mean position is x, then the restoring force f acting on the block is f of x is equal to minus kx. This is in accordance with the Hooke's law. Now, the constant of proportionality k is called the spring constant. Its value is governed by the elastic properties of the spring. That is, a stiff spring has large k and a soft spring has small k. The above expression is same as the force law for simple harmonic motion and therefore the system executes a simple harmonic motion. Therefore, omega angular velocity is equal to the root of k by m and the period t is equal to 2 pi into root of m by k where m is the mass of the body attached to the spring and k is the spring constant. Now we shall see the example of simple pendulum. Now simple pendulum consists of an inextensible light and flexible string having a heavy but small sized spear called bob. The upper free end is tied to a rigid support called point of suspension or pivot point. The distance between point of suspension and center of gravity of the bob is called the length of the simple pendulum. The simple pendulum is said to have been suspended. The equilibrium position which is shown by the dotted lines. The bob rests in mean position. Now, for deriving an expression for the time period of the simple pendulum, we can consider the forces acting on a simple pendulum. The forces acting on the bob include the tension T of the string in the upward direction, then the force due to gravity which can be resolved into Fg sin theta and Fg cos theta, which is the force due to acceleration due to gravity. This is what makes the pendulum oscillate. Now, the torque experienced by the bob is given by negative L Fg sin theta. Now, for rotational motion, we know that tau is equal to i into alpha where i is the moment of inertia and alpha is the angular acceleration. Now i alpha is equal to negative lfg sin theta. Here the negative sign is because when the pendula oscillates it is such that theta decreases. Now from this alpha angular acceleration is equal to minus ngl by i into sin theta. Now, if theta is very small, that is, for a simple pendulum to have a simple harmonic motion, the angular displacement theta has to be very small. In this case, we can take sin theta is equal to theta. Now, if we compare this equation with that of the equation of a simple harmonic motion 
then we can arrive at the expression omega is equal to omega mgl by i and the time period t is equal to 2 pi by omega which gives 2 pi into root of i by mgl all the mass of a simple pendulum is centered in the mass m of the bob which is at a radius of l from the pivot point so the moment of energy i is equal to m into l square on substituting this we get t the time period of simple pendulum is equal to 2 pi into root l by g where l is the length of the simple pendulum and g is the acceleration due to gravity now damped simple harmonic motion when the motion of an oscillator reduces due to an external force the oscillator and its motion are damped these periodic motions of gradually decreasing amplitude are damped simple harmonic motion for example if we push a simple pendulum into oscillation it will come to rest after some time this is due to the dissipative actions and due to friction with air so in the damped simple harmonic motion the energy of the oscillator dissipates continuously but for small damping the oscillations remain approximately periodic the forces which dissipate the energy are generally the frictional forces hence the amplitude of oscillation decreases as shown in the graph with time now we shall see the expression of damped simple harmonic motion for that we can consider a spring which is suspended by a rigid support and at one end there is a block of mass m and on the other end of the block is a vein which is kept in a vessel filled with water so when the spring oscillates the vein moves inside the vessel of water but because of the viscosity of the liquid the oscillations of the spring gets damped and here the force of damping fd is equal to minus b into v since the damping is proportional to the velocity of oscillation here b is known as the constant of damping now we have already seen that in the case of a spring there is always a restoring force which is given by fs is equal to minus kx so the total force acting on this system f is given by fs plus fd that is equal to minus kx minus bv so by newton's second law of motion m of a into t is equal to minus kx of t minus v v of t since this is time varying a of t is equal to dv by dt and we know that v is equal to dx by dt which becomes m into d square x by dt square plus v into dx by dt plus kx on solving this differential equation we get the value of x of t which is the displacement is equal to a into e raised to minus bt by 2m into cos omega dash t plus phi where omega dash is equal to root of k by m minus b square by 4m square here m is the mass attached to the spring and the damping is produced by the exponential function that is e raised to negative bt by 2 and here b is the damping constant 
Now for small damping, the energy of the system is given by the expression half into k into a into e raised to minus bt by m. Now for the structure, all oscillations eventually die out due to damping force in the surroundings. However, an external agency can maintain these oscillations. These oscillations are known as forced or driven oscillations. The motion that the system performs under this external agency is known as forced simple harmonic motion. For example, we can consider the case of swing. In the case of a swing, if we don't apply any force on the spring, the swing will come to rest eventually. But in order to keep the swing in motion, we can push the ground with our legs. And thus, the motion of swing is continued. This is, the, this is an example of a four simple harmonic motion. Here the external force is itself periodic with a frequency omega d, which is known as the dry frequency. At first, the oscillation takes place in the natural frequency of oscillation. But after that, when the oscillation takes place due to the external force, the period of oscillations becomes the frequency equals omega d. Now we can see the expression for force simple harmonic motion. is given by the equation f of t is equal to f0 cos omega d t since the driving force is also periodic. Now by Newton's second law f of t is equal to m into a into t that is equal to minus kx minus bv plus f0 cos omega d t. This is the total force acting on the oscillating system with forced simple harmonic motion. From this equation, we can get the differential equation. That is, if we substitute ft is equal to dv by dt, we know that v is equal to dx by dt. Hence, m into d square x by dt square plus b into dx by dt plus kx is equal to f0 cos omega dt. On solving this differential equation, we will get the expression for displacement x of t is equal to a cos omega dt plus phi, where t is the time from the moment we apply external periodic force. Since only at that moment, the oscillation start to take place with the angular frequency of the driving force. Now we shall see the concept of resonance. The phenomenon of increase in amplitude when the driving force is close to the natural frequency of the oscillator is known as resonance. For understanding the concept of resonance, we can consider this example. In this case, the lengths of pendulums 1 and 4 are equal, while the other pendulums 2, 3 and 5 are having different lengths. In this case, the driving force is produced by the pendulum 1. If pendulum 1 is allowed to oscillate, the force is transmitted to other pendulums 
and the other pendulums also begin to oscillate with the period of the first pendulum. But in the case of pendulums 2, 3 and 5, the amplitude of oscillations are much smaller. But in the case of pendulum 4, we can see that the amplitude of oscillation goes on increasing. This is due to the phenomenon of resonance. So this is the end of this video. In this video, I have discussed simple pendulum spring, damped simple, simple harmonic motion and four simple harmonic motion. If you have got any doubt in any of the topics discussed in this video, please comment in the section below. Thank you.